Theochromosatoma. This is a tumor of the adrenal medulla gland. This gland sits atop the kidneys, hence the name adrenal. And uh, there's chromaffin cells inside the medulla, and they crank out hormones such as epinephrine at about 80%, norepinephrine at about 20%. And if you have a tumor in this region, it's, it could increase your blood pressure significantly, even to an extent of a hypertensive crisis. So there's a couple of alpha blockers. So these are uh, alpha adrenergic receptor blockers. Remember we have type one and type two. And these uh, drugs, phentolamine and phenoxybenzamine, both block bo uh, both subtype one and subtype two of the alpha receptors. So if you have pheochromocytoma, you're gonna have a lot of epinephrine and norepinephrine out in the bloodstream a lot of substrate for this, this receptor to bind to. Phenoxybenzamine is usually a better option, and it goes back to biochemistry. With phentolamine, it is a competitive inhibitor at the active site, and if you have a lot of epinephrine or epinephrine you're competing with, that can be difficult. But with phenoxybenzamine, it's an allosteric inhibitor, so it binds to a spot on the receptor besides the active site but it, when it binds, it changes the shape of the active site so that norepinephrine and epinephrine can't bind. So it's a, it's a more potent drug in this situation, and it's irreversible and has a, a longer effect. So um, this is typically preferred over phentolamine for this reason. Now, if you watched the last video, you're probably thinking, why would you want to block alpha-2? And really, um, that's not the purpose. It's the effect it has on alpha-1 but because, let's remember where alpha-2 receptors are. If we have a, a neuron in the brain and it releases norepinephrine, when norepinephrine is released, some of it will come back and bind to the axon terminal of that presynaptic neuron and bind to the alpha-2 receptor. And it kind of acts like a negative feedback to get, keep norepinephrine from kind of getting out of control. So if you block that, you do block that effect and you will have slightly more norepinephrine released, but because you it can't bind to that alpha-1, it kind of negates that effect. So um, it still has that ability to really bring down the blood pressure because we know when alpha-1 receptors are stimulated by norepinephrine or epinephrine, it causes constriction of the smooth muscle, whereas when beta-2 subtypes are activated, it causes dilation of the smooth muscle, the blood vessels. So um, whenever norepinephrine is released from the axon terminal, it kind of has different options. So one thing that could happen is in the synaptic cleft, there's an enzyme called catechol ol methyl transferase or COMT. It can break down norepinephrine right there, or it can go back into a reuptake channel back into the axon terminal some of it will be recycled and to be used again, and then a, a large portion of it will be broken down by monoamine oxidase, an enzyme that also breaks down norepinephrine in the axon terminal. So as a second or maybe third line even uh, antidepressant, because SSRIs are kind of the, the, the first line, uh, you could take an, a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, and this inhibitor inhibits that particular enzyme where norepinephrine doesn't get broke down, so more of it gets recycled and you have more norepinephrine released as part of the, the treatment. So um, if you eat a lot of cheese when you're on MAOI, a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, or cured meats like uh, bacon or uh, hot dogs or even uh, fermented foods, maybe a sauerkraut or kimchi, um, you can actually get a buildup of tyramine. And if you remember, the amino acid that is um, used initially to, to get to norepinephrine is tyrosine. And so there's a lot of similarities here, and it can kind of act uh, like norepinephrine and increase blood pressure even more and cause a hypertensive crisis through this avenue. And that might be another possible place to use these alpha blockers, phentolamine and phenoxybenzamine, uh, to reduce the hypertensive crisis in that, or even cocaine use, because cocaine, uh, basically, um, it increases norepinephrine and can cause, you know, 
a heart attack or cardiac arrest just by increasing the blood pressure so much. So these, these might be an option for that as well.